What's up everybody? This is Skid Society. Welcome back to the channel where today we've got something quite different and quite special for you guys because I've been waiting and working towards this day for quite some time now. However, I'm proud to finally announce that I got my very own lowrider. Now I know you guys are probably gonna have a lot of questions like how did this guy afford a 6'4"? Does it hop? Does it three wheel? But I'm just gonna show you guys because it's parked right here in three wheel motion next to my LS400. So here it is, my 1 10th scale 64 Impala fully functional hopping lowrider. I do apologize if I had any of you guys fooled. Those of you who watch the channel know I'm not really a big prankster. However, when I picked this thing up, I just couldn't waste the opportunity to introduce you guys to my new lowrider. I would like to get a full size lowrider build going eventually, but for that to be possible, you guys need to support the channel. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, share the videos with your friends. But with that being said, let's go back in time, unbox this thing and see some action. What's up everybody? This is Skid Society. Welcome back to the channel, but today something a little different because we're going to be unboxing the Red Cat Racing 64. So let's get straight into tearing this box open. down. 50-50 shot. I knew it would be upside down. Here we go. Here's the outer red cat box. Let's get this one open. First thing I see, parts included in the box. What have we got here? Some chargers and cables, instruction manual, decals, decorative antennas. Nice. And I still managed to get it upside down. Well, kind of. But at least it's the right way for you guys to see. Out of the two available color options, red and blue, I had to go for the blue just to get the Jeffries edition. Seeing what he's done to these scale lowriders has really been incredible. I've seen some of his awesome work shared on social media, so I'll make sure to put a link to his Instagram down below in the video description and comment section. This one is a bit of a tight fit. I'm gonna have to angle it to get it out of here. Alright, two boxes down. Let's give you guys a closer up look at the box. Well, firstly, I hope I have some AA batteries. I actually didn't think of that, believe it or not. Up to nine inches of hop height. It's pretty good. A little bit of a bio about the guy. Nice. Like I said earlier, I'm a big fan of the custom artwork, which is the reason I went for this edition. We've got some three-wheel motion here. Hops over here. Okay, I'm getting more and more excited. Bit more information on here. A couple more pictures of the blue Impala without the decals. The details continue. It's a really nice touch right there. I think I'm gonna stand it up again. Sixty-four. Yes, that is a really nice box. We've even got more details here on the inside of the sleeve, some graffiti. So now let's get into opening this one. Here we go, got the instruction manual, stickers, if we keep those nice and flat. Just took the remote out and I'm getting the first peek at the 64. Should be just here under the styrofoam. Beautiful in blue. Got the battery for the car. Battery adapter goes with that. These steel plates. If you guys know, then you'll know what these are for. Let's get to taking this thing out of its box. Here we go. Wow. Actually bigger than I was expecting it to be for whatever reason. But let's not forget, the real 64 Impala is actually a pretty enormous car. Give you guys the full turnaround, the best I can. Get this stuff out of the way of the table so that I can get some close-up shots. We've got the data cable for the transmitter as well as the charger. 
So here we are, but let me get back to you guys right after I open the instruction manual. Required items. Guess I'll need to grab some of these things. Luckily, I did have batteries from the last time I needed batteries for something, which I can't really remember what that was. It's 2020 now and everything is almost rechargeable. Controller batteries inserted. Step two, remove the body. Carefully lay car upside down on soft surface. Luckily, I have one of those right here. This thing is heavy, and it's heavier in the rear, funnily enough. Looking pretty accurate under here. Okay, here it is without a body. Looking pretty plain on the inside. We've got more than a few stickers to put on here. But I might as well do it now before it gets dusty. Oh, and here are those cool little antennas. And it looks like we've got a choice between a digital dash or the old school dash. Which one do you think I'll go for? Fitting some of these stickers is very awkward. I really didn't get this one on straight for the tech. And this one is gonna have to be cut to get around the steering column. Okay, driver's side coming together. Got my switches installed. Okay, interior all stickered up. These ones were pretty awkward going around this corner. But there we go. Got Impala logos, SS badges. Seats, of course all of the stuff for the dash. Right after I get done with the interior stickers, I realize that this thing is only held on with Velcro. Taking it off would have made that process a lot easier. But here's a better look underneath the interior, what we've got going on, from the motor to the servos, the ESC, the rear antennas have now been attached. Here's one last look at the blue Impala body before I cover it up with all of its stickers. I guess we'll be covering up these badges. Shame about this Impala SS badge at the back. Here we are, all stickered up. I didn't do the best job, but I tried my best. Looks pretty good with this design. All right, everybody. The only thing left is to put the battery back in and then we'll be able to see what this was all about. I'm pretty excited to say the least. It's nice to feel like a kid again, especially at almost three decades old. Even though I've constantly been into cars, I actually haven't owned an RC car since about seven years ago when I let go of my nitro-powered HVI Savage. So yeah, being electric, having the hydraulic suspension, the 64 is gonna be a completely different experience. Now that we're stickered up and charged up, it's time to see what this thing can really do.